Hello, uh, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation and carrying on, or actually sort of starting, our new process of illustrating our navigation blog posts with a video that uh, shows what we're talking about. And uh, this is an example where we have uh, how to find archived weather maps. And then here, and this is the link, and I'll put the link in the uh, instructions to the video. But this is the link of uh, the, the place on explains how to do that. And uh, so we're going to look at how to find uh, archive data. And then, but before, the, the idea here is to find archive data from some random place, not just at a particular station. If you were looking for a particular station and you want data from the past from a particular station then you can just go to the National Data Buoy Center and then go to the place you care about for example uh, here is a summary just from the local lighthouse uh, w, uh, West Point Lighthouse and here you see you have all this data clear back to 1984 which would then uh, then list uh, this uh, very nice data, but it's just it's just what they have. It's a GMT uh, date and the wind speed, the gusts, wave heights, uh, the wave heights, no wave heights there. It's on land, uh, 99, and the pressure and so on. But that's not the subject for now. For now, we want to find out what the wind and pressure and sea state might be at some special place out in the middle of the ocean. For example, you could be analyzing a yacht race from the past or a voyage of your own, or maybe I've had occasions to look up what were the sea conditions during some uh, ship uh, collision or wreck or just uh, as some accident at sea. You want to know what's going on. So here's, the, here's then the steps on what you do. You start with a Googling the National Climatic Data Center. That's the place where you start. And you just start here. National Climatic Data Center. Does that do it? Yeah, that brings up NOAA right there. That's the link you want. And this is the place. And then the next step, and again, these steps are in the article. I want quick access to your products. You click there. Uh, there's several routes to getting here, but I'm just giving you one. You could be clicking around a long time if you didn't have maybe some hints on how to do it. Then from this page, we can actually go down to number nine here, weather maps and charts. So that's pretty easy. And then that's here, weather, weather maps and charts, and then analyses and forecasts. So you can actually look up old forecast maps as well as old... Uh, old service analysis maps. That might come into handy, for example, if you want to do a study of how good was a forecast. So you look up the forecast uh, for two days out, and then you go back and look up, see what really happened. So this is a wonderful resource for uh, doing that sort of study. Ocean analysis is what we want. So we click that and then continue down here is a button. And then we want uh, Pacific uh, East Pacific, Pacific East Surface Analysis, Pacific East Surface Analysis. And the one we're going after is because, as you see here, the way this came up, the video and the, the paper, the, I mean the archive post here and everything, came up because we had a question in class. One of our quizzes has this question. What is the wind and pressure, or what was, what was the wind and pressure at 30 North, 130 West, July 4th, 2001? So that's a question we're trying to solve right now. And so I'm going in here. I'm going to get the Pacific East Surface Analysis. Hit Continue. And then uh, 2001, uh, July 4th. And then here, let's see how far back can you go. It looks like they only started this in 1994. So that's as far back as this convenient source goes. Uh, 2001, July 4th. Okay, that's the day we want. And note, you can get, uh, there's, uh, you can get up to six maps, but per page. But now, okay, so then I click that, and then here's what we get. And these are the four maps. These are at the synoptic times, 0, 0, 6 Zulu, 12 Zulu, 18. We want 12 Zulu right here, so I click that one. And there's the map. It's a pretty big 
high quality map, but it will always be uh, crooked, I mean, wrong direction, and it'll be bigger than you can easily see. So to go further, you almost have to right click and then save the image. Save the image somewhere on your computer and then go back and open it up. And I think I have that done here. Yeah, so okay, so here's the map. And again, these are high resolution, so you can make them as big as you want. And here's 130 west, here's 30 north, 30, 30 north. One th so we want to know what is a wind right here. So we have the we have the raw map we need, but obviously there's one more step. Accidentally, it turns out there was a ship report here and a ship report here, so we can guess the wind. Is. We can almost guess what the wind is, but I'm going to, uh, it's going to be something out of the north or over here a little bit, north, northwest, and then somewhere between 10 and 20. Uh, but we don't know that. I would guess right now that this wind report, see, has 20 knots right here. Pressure 1019.3. This is 1018.1 at this ship report, and this one 1019.3. I would guess this is a little bit stronger. In other words, this is not really consistent. This wind of 20 knots here is not really consistent with the isobars. The wind in this area is probably a little bit lighter than that on average, and so forth. And so, and oh, look here. This is an old map. So back in the old days, they actually put an identification for the ships. Sometime, uh, to, this is 2001, ah, 2001. Uh, so what happened is shortly after that, they stopped putting the ID of the ships on these reports. So new maps, you won't see this here. But I'm going to stop here. This is what we need. Then I'm going to add another short video on how to figure out what this map really claims the wind should be right here. In other words, how to interpret that map to see what the wind is here, which in this case is a little bit easier, but suppose you want to know here, 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 something like that. So let's uh, add another video to that, and I'll put the link at the end of this one, how to get to the next one.